All right. So welcome to you all to attend uh, our webinar sharing today. And thanks for ha having your time here. And hopefully today webinar sharing sessions will be helpful for you. And uh, very glad that if you can uh, provide any comments on or any sharings on today webinar sessions. So before I really kickstart today webinar sharing, so let me have a small disclaimer here. This to, uh, this presentation has not been reviewed by uh, security commissions and whatever today sharing is for general information sharing purpose as not constitute any buy and sell trading call. So in case you're interested to make a trading decisions or investment decisions, you may consult your dealer or remiser privately. And our company, Philly Capital, is incorporated on 7th of October 1995 and is wholly owned subsidiary of Philly Capital Holding Bahad. Philly Capital, as one of the trading participants of Busan Reti, Derivative Bahad, also one of the participating organizations of Busan Malaysia Securities Bahad, and we also one of the holder of Capital Market Service License. And for here's our uh, locations of our Philip investor branches across East and West Malaysia. And we have total 11 Philip investors centered throughout Malaysia and our HQ is located in KL. So in case you have any uh, interest to consult our financial service or investment advice, you're welcome to visit your narrow branch. And here is our uh, award winning uh, throughout the years. And we have the, uh, some awards in the category of best overall, overall derivative trading participant and best retail derivative trading participants. Philly Capital is not a company that service, uh, that service of the Malaysia client, but also uh, we have also serviced the client in uh, some local foreign company, for example, France, Turkey, Dubai, India, China, and Japan. So. In case it means that we are not servi uh, servicing uh, an international based client. And here is our global coverage. In Philly Capital, you're not only able to access to trade uh, product under Busan Malaysia and SGX, but also some foreign uh, exchange product. For example, GPX and Token from Japan, HKEX from Hong Kong, and the most important is the four exchange CME, CBOT, COMEX, and IMAX from US. And here is why we can become your one-stop solution for your trading. As I mentioned just now, we not only provide brokeraging service for futures, but also uh, stocks and CFD. In futures, we provide index futures, agricultural, meta, energy, and interest rate futures. And in stocks, you not only able to trade and invest in Malaysia stock, but also US, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Australia shares. And the CFD is for the investor who want to have a greater leveraging effect or greater exposure in uh, equity market, so you can look for CFD. And here is uh, why we can become your broker of choice. We uh, and award winning multi asset broker and we do have 24 hour broking and education support so in case you are trading for the market uh, in futures market or in securities market you no need worry that nothing want to assist you uh, in the night sessions so we also provide advisory of service later market news wide array of product and now online account opening in case you're interested to open an account you no need physically come over to the branch everything can be done online is uh, very convenient And the another advantage that become Philip Capital client is we do provide free one-to-one -one coaching sessions, free seminar and webinars are from time to time, and free account opening. For for the free one-to-one -one coaching, in case you have uh, any details, want to know more, uh, for example regarding introductions to futures, CFD or stock trading, or product knowledge, even pla platform coaching, you can contact uh, us and make an appointment. So. Our dealer or staff will assist uh, to uh, arrange an uh, appointment with you. So, we also do provide uh, seminars and webinars events from time to time. And in the slide, I have attached the QR code. So, in case you're interested, you can uh, have a snap or, or scan the QR code. So, it will lead you to, to our upcoming schedule.
and now it's for our weekly market call we have uh, market views and updates on every monday 11 a.m and live counter technical analysis also monday but it's on 8 p.m so here's the qr code uh, for you to take a photo or scan And for online account opening, here's a QR code for you to scan. So in case you are not only interested to only, only trading in futures, but also stocks and safety, uh, you can open an account now. And we do provide uh, every different platform for each uh, trading and investment. And now let me have a quick introduction of our trading platform. First one would be our uh, Philip Nova is our futures trading platform. So in this platform, we do offer over 90 technical indicator, buy and sell directly from charts and uh, some ba every basic and fundamental function, for example, local and foreign product news and look, uh, live market news, also price alert. So here's the QR code for you to scan for the demo account in case you are uh, want to familiar with our charting system or platform, you can scan this QR code. So another features of our Philip Nova platform is we are the only broker A that able to link with the trading uh, view in Malaysia. So in case you already subscribe trading view plans, you not necessary to log into our website or apps to uh, start your trading. In TradingView website, you can log in your Philip Nova account, so you can uh, do any trading orders there based on the chart uh, you have set up in TradingView website. And now it's for turn for our securities platform. It's a Poems Global 2.0. Uh, it's a very user friendly platform and. We do provide charting indicators, exchange top 30 movers, and powers, powerful stocks analytics in this uh, platform. And the another features of this platform is you able to access uh, listed company market news, quarterly result, and also uh, the essential fundamental ratio, for example, PE ratio, EPS ratio, all in one uh, in this platform. And this is a platform for our CFT trader. Uh, is a user-friendly uh, interface and do provide live charting, price alert, and uh, some others advanced of the type. And currently, we are going have, have two ongoing promotion campaign for our client. The first one is Trade and Trump uh, BMD Editions. Actually, in this promotion campaign, we do provide any. Uh, we do eh, sorry. Let me have a second. We do provide uh, a cash price for our existing client and uh, newcomer. So in case you are trading uh, BMD product in terms of volume, you are able to entitle a cash cash price. And for the new client who interested to open an account, you this is the first sixty of cash price of fifty ringgit for the client that open an account and trade over three lots of BMD product. And the next one is this cover opportunity to trade CME contracts with Philip. Uh, in this promotion campaign, we are going from uh, September. So, and for the, this is uh, the promotion campaign that available for new client who want to open account. And in case you open account and subscribe to semi bundle exchange, you are able to entitle the cash price of one hundred ringgit. So. Uh, that's all for, uh, for our little introduction so for you all information i will be the speaker of tonight and i'm a futures trading dealer at philly capital and usually major in analyzing market outlook economic conditions and interrelated factor to provide mid and long-term insight so i'm also a national cfa institute local research champion uh combining market analysis and technical skill to empower clients with effective trading strategy so Without further ado, I will uh, really have a quick introduction of our FKLI index futures uh, and some market recap and for upcoming what 
we can monitor or take a look to before we trading in our FKI market. So let me have a drink before I continue. So uh, there's a very fundamental information. So why trade KLCI in futures? We know that KLCI is our stock market index. So it's a, a component out of 30, top 30 market capitalizations are in our market. But why we gonna to trade index in futures market? The first one, leveraging effect. The first, uh, the second one, bi-directional trading. So unlike in stock market, you, we usually only long in uh, equities market, but in futures, we you can uh, enter a long or short portions uh, in futures trading in case you have a bearish or bullish in the market. There's a uh, always a uh, direction for you to trade or invest. So high liquidity uh, and low transaction cost. Actually, in uh, FKLI, uh, it's a very liquid and you no need to worry. This is a liquidity issue that you enable to sell or close your position to a very good price. So before you want to trade FKLI, FKLI contract, so they, here is some contract specifications for you to take a look or be aware. So currently, uh, FKI contract size is FBM KLCI multiple by 50. And actually the contract value is equivalent nearly 80,000 ringgit of Malaysia. So, but currently the initial margin of FKI is 4,000 only. So that's why I said uh, FKI do provide us a leveraging effect because you only need 4,000 uh, ringgit or cash balance to trade one KI contract that equivalent value of 80,000. And for the minimum price fluctuation is 0 0.5 index point value at 25 ringgit. So in case there is a move of 20, 0 0.5 points, you have a profit and loss of 25 ringgit. And in case there's a one point move in index, that's the equivalent of 50 ringgit profit and loss. So, and, and one more thing you guys need to take note is the trading hours. The first session will be start at 8.45, which is uh, a bit earlier than our equities market and end 12.45. And lunch sessions will be start 2.30 until 5.50. And be aware that there's a T plus one session, which is our night sessions for our FKI from 9 to 2.30 uh, uh, in the morning. And this is why I, why I said uh, FKI having a very much liquidity. So you can see uh, there's a several contract months for FKI and the volume is, uh, is uh, quite high and there's a lot of trader investor uh, they in and out in daily trading volume. So you no need to worry that you buy a contract or index but you unable to sell in a very fair price. So this is uh, uh, illustrations of how low transaction cost of FKI. So contract value, as I said just now, is equivalent 80,000, but you able to use 4,000 to trade. So for the brokerage brokerage fee, uh, for, for example, we, you, we, only, we only charge 15 for our, uh, in every contract of FKI. And, but in the cash market, that when that's a 0.5% of charge, it's equivalent brokerage fee of the, uh, um, almost 400 ringgit. And in futures trading, you won't be charged any stamp duty and clearing fee, which is will be charged if you buy and sell the shares in uh, our equity market. Okay, so in case you are trading uh, futures, uh, contract means that there's a, always a risk for you to have a margin call. So what's the margin call? And margin call will happen when your trader do not have enough account balance to hold portions overnight. For example, as I said just now, initial margin for FKI is 4,000. So you need to maintain a margin of 100% of initial margin. So how, what, what will help it happen when your current equity balance is 3,000? You will have a margin call means that when your account balance is lower than the initial required margin, you have a margin call. So you 
uh, basically will receive a margin call from broker. And for example, how you will be having a margin call uh, in your daily trading. So for example, uh, if you long one contract of FCPO F or FKLI at 4,000 ringgit, so in case there's the uh, daily volatile movement of 20 points and one point equivalent for 50 ringgit, so there's a profit and loss of 1,000. In case market drop by 20 points, you have a loss of 1,000. Means that market uh, move from uh, 4,000 to 3,980. So when your cash balance have a having a loss of 1,000, you have a balance of 3,000 ringgit. You have an unrealized profit and loss for 1,000. So when it comes to the second day, when the cash balance is uh, lower than your initial margin, you will receive a margin call of 1,000 ringgit. So how to handle if the market is not uh, is going against you or you're making a unrealized losses in the futures trading market? So the first choice available for you is to deposit the margin call amount. If you want to hold the portions, you don't want to liquidate, you don't want to close your portions, you need to deposit the margin call amount, which is 1,000 ringgit I said just now. And the uh, second one is cash balance have to become positive be be before market close if you want to hold the portions. Why uh, this can be your choice to, to hold your position? Because I said you having a loss when the market go against you. How about second day market uh, rebound and recovery from the uh, bottom? So your when, when your account balance bring back to at least minimum 4,000, so you have no any more margin call. Uh, yes. And the third one is close your positions. In case you have margin call, you don't want to deposit and the market will uh, never rebound on the second day, you need to close your positions or your broker house will force liquidate your positions uh, to prevent any over loss from your positions. So there's uh, some basic information sharing about uh, FKL contract. So now we're going to look on the regarding our market news and market movement of our current KL, uh, FKLI. Is KLCI equal FKLI? We know that KLCI is a name uh, for our Kuala Lumpur Stock Market Index. So FKLI is the same index. I have, you, you can see in the chart, uh, in, the, in the slides, the candlestick is represent the KLCI index and the red line there is represent the movement of futures uh, FKLI. So you can see both of them enjoying the same directions and movement. And we all know that recently our FKLI is doing good. So it means that top 30 companies are doing good in, in terms of their share price, thus in, lead, in turn leads the share uh, movement in our FKLI. So we know that big cap is doing good recently. Um, but when you took take have a look on our small cap index this is a, a recently quite weak or bearish in this small market uh, small cap company so usually when you, when people say that uh, our index is going so high is going so strong doesn't mean that all of the all of the listed company in Busa Malaysia are doing good in their share price only big companies doing good but not necessary for small cap company so you can see there's a divergence or uh, difference in terms of small cap and big cap share price movement. And when you want to invest in trade uh, equity uh, financial market, we all for sure will monitor the movement of US market. So when you want to invest or trade in US market, but how about you can analyze or make a related trading decisions in uh, FKI. This, here's a chart I've concluded that the both mov movement between Dow Jones index, which is US index and FKI. We can see that in chart from a, a very big view, both of the chart are sharing a same direction, which is the upward momentum. And you can see for the red line, Dow Jones have a return of 41%, but Malaysia is quite uh, slow, only 20 percent in terms of their movement but be aware that although both, both of the index are enjoying the same direction but 
that when we capture a smaller time frame, this is the divergence between US index and uh, FKY index. So doesn't mean that every day US index will resent the next day uh, FKY movement. In, in, in case you see that uh, today US market is doing good, not necessarily that tomorrow morning our stock market, our index will be doing good as well. So this on divergence I point out in the chart. So be aware that if you use to uh, analyze US movement to predict the upcoming movement in FKI. And how about um, relationship between FKI and S&P and NASDAQ? So same thing goes to Dow Jones. Our FKI and S&P also enjoying both the same outward momentum direction, but when time to time there is a divergence, you can see from April to July, our FKI is not doing good. There's a downward uh, movement. But when it comes to S&P, there's an outward movement during April to Ju July, uh, July month. And NASDAQ, yes, you can see from 2023, NASDAQ already uh, rise in their index value for nearly 70%, but our FKI only 14.11%. So know that FKI is always not doing uh, strong or bullish as NASDAQ index. And now I would like to highlight some interest uh, factors that will affect the FKI market. The first one will be our interest rates, uh, central bank, uh, our BNM cut overnight policy rate, or US Federal Reserve in increase or reduce their interest rate. Also, uh, it's one of the factors that will affect our FKI index. And the second one is the pandemic. Economic uncertainties and COVID-19 outbreak push the FBM KSI below 1,300 points to a 10 years low. And if you are were a trader or investor in this market a few years ago, you know that COVID-19 uh, pandemic is very affecting our market index very uh, seriously. And the third one is policy political uncertainties handling power between prime minister and parties. And the fourth one is exchange rate currency impacted for impact and export. So these are four uh, very basic and famous indicator that will affect the market. And if you want to invest in Malaysia market only, you need to take take a look on our Malaysia important economic factor. So four suggestions I would like, uh, you can find on this indicator data from time to time in trading economics website. And for example, the currency, the GDP growth rate, unemployment, inflation, uh, balance of trade, all of these are the very uh, important economic indicator that will affect the sentiment of our local investor and traders. And KLCA, we know that are uh, make up from top 30 market capitalization company in Malaysia stock market. So here's a list of what component that were already included in our KLCA index. So in case you know that there's a, those companies that carry more weightage, uh, their movement will be affect KLCI index movement uh, as well. So here's the uh, list of the counter. If you interested, you can uh, take a photo or uh, record it. And let's take a look KLCI weightage by sector. For the latest sector, you can refer to the right hand side. And the most uh, weightage is from financial, which is uh, increased from 0.5% to 0.63%. Industrial also sector also carry, carry more uh, weightage in KLCI, which is from 0.11% to 0.13%. And be aware that material sector uh, is becoming less weightage in our KLCI index. So all of the information you can uh, go to MSCI website to have a look. And here is I already highlight some uh, sector movement uh, of our Malaysia. The first one will be finance index, which is uh, majorly comp compromised uh, banks 
and financial institutions. And the right-hand side is our healthcare index, uh, plantation index, and also the telecommunication index. So all of these are very famous sectors that are affecting the KRCA movement. So if you are trading this, to, uh, this year market, you might be, you might be very uh, curious why KRCI is so bullish. So I highlighted the major reason of to, this year is increased foreign direct investment uh, to Malaysia in this year. For example, Malaysia already extracted 76.1 billion potential foreign investment as only March 2024. It's a very huge increase from the previous year. And for, for upcoming Google plans to invest 2 billion in establishing its first data center and Google Cloud region in Malaysia. Microsoft invite a significant investment of 22 million US dollars to advance a new cloud and AI infrastructure in Malaysia. And ByteDance, which is the car parent company of TikTok based in China, plan to invest 2.13 billion in Malaysia. So all of these mega technology companies are from foreign, uh, foreign side. When they decide to have an investment in Malaysia, it means that they want to commence their business in Malaysia. You create more opportunities, create more economic, create more GDP in our for Malaysia. So in terms, we'll be uh, create a bullish sentiment for our investor. And another reason why KLCI is so bullish this year, and uh, I would say like political risk is one also one of the major factor. So we know that political risk is become lesser this year, and our government party is becoming more. Are stable when you compare to four to five years ago. So when we talk about policy, uh, political, uh, politics, we never forget that upcoming U.S. elections is also very crucial and important for our index movement. So in case you want to um, take a look on U.S. election, you need to monitor what's the policy from both party, uh, Republican and Democratic Party, which is by Donald Trump, and the another one is uh, Harris. So this is the movement since uh, 2020 because we know that we all know that our company already went experienced a very unstable politics uh, in our country. So why I said politics is one of the risks that affect KLCI movement. Here's the chart already tell we all the uh, the facts. The our stock market is not doing good. When politics is a big girl is a very huge risk. They will not attract any. Uh, foreign investment or will reduce their confidence that for, of them to invest in Malaysia. So in turn, we'll create less investor participations and also a less uh, working opportunity in Malaysia. So this, uh, I have conclude some points from our, uh, from the US elections. Here's a latest pool, which is from uh, the Harris and Donald Trump. Currently, Harris is leading by Donald Trump uh, just almost, I think, close to 3%. It's a very competitive uh, competition between both parties in U.S. elections. So here is some micro, uh, macro policy, macro economic policy for, from Donald Trump. We know that Donald Trump want to be ele being elected as president this year. He always come its uh, project, which is mega, makes America great again. So lower tax, lower interest rate, higher tariffs, aggressive infrastructure investment, more employment opportunity, emphasizing energy sources, and weakening US dollar is all of the uh, policy by Donald Trump. So when we talk about how about the Harris uh, trade policy, Donald, unlike Donald Trump who more focused uh, in macroeconomic view, Harris Trade is more focused on their yeah, resident well-being or society welfare. The first one is healthcare reform. It's about hospitalizations and hospital and low tariff, emphasize clean energy, gun safety, emphasize renewable energy, tighten regulation on AI and digital finance uh, due to safety concern. So we know that when either Donald Trump or Harris being elected for this year US election, we create a huge difference in their uh, policy in managing United States. 
and this is some um, uh, highlights the opportunity opportunity tweets tail wines and hit wines if donald trump won win the elections in uh, upcoming november so you may take a look or you are uh, if you're interested you can have, I have a screenshot of it So this is some highlights from uh, Democratic Party in U.S. election. The opportunity, the tweets, and tail winds. Usually, the major highlights from the Democratic Party is they won't uh, impose any uh, heavy tariff on China goods. So in case you are investing in the China market, A50 or China stocks, it will be good if Harris won the elections for upcoming November. And when we talk about relate back to our FQI index, what challenge ahead that might we facing uh, for upcoming months? Although now the FQI index is doing good. The first one is China solar firm how output in Southeast Asia, including Malaysia. So actually it's a very, uh, have a heavy relationship to our solar company in Malaysia, for example, uh, Solar West and Samaiden. So if you are in investing in all these solar counter, you might take a look on it. And the another one is new US rule on foreign cheap equipment export to China to exempt some allies. So it led to our local technology company. You know that our local technology mainly having their exporting business. So anything happened in US and China for sure will be affecting the exporting business of our local technology company. And here is uh, some uh, technical analysis. We know that market is going bull, very bullish now. KLCI index is uh, raised, go up a lot due to the strong performance from banks and financial institutions due to their newly announced quad, very good quarterly report. So in case you, you never ha still enter any trades or you, you want to involve in upcoming movement of FKI, what you going to do and what can you do for uh, upcoming views. So this, this is a chart that going a lot uh, recently, uh, especially during beginning of this year. So I will highlight some very key resistance for our index. Currently the index is stand at a point 1675 and 24. So for the most nearest resistance will be nearly 1000 and 700 and the another one is 1720 so any retracement we, we know that there's a bullish uh, a very steady uptrend of our FQI index in case there's a uh, have a retracement in our index that able to maintain above this level it could be a very good entry point for you to uh, monitor to, or to have a take a look on it so you can see this is a black uh, figure in the in the chart, uh, one thousand five hundred and eight uh, eighty three. Basically, this is the level that usually uh, Black Monday that happened three weeks ago. Our KLCI index is went down almost eighty points one in one day. It's a very crazy movement uh, on the day, but very have very have have a very quick rebound and recovery on the uh, following trading days. And okay, so uh, since now we already talked about the uh, KLCI index, so I, I also have filtered out that some potential stock pick that you're able to uh, have a look. So this, this is not a call, uh, trading call or buy call recommendation for the stock uh, just a very general information sharing that you may take a very close uh, monitor on the stocks that uh, for upcoming movement the first one i would like is a uh, pa resources uh, you can see the chart is actually uh, already went down from almost uh, 44 cent and currently stand at uh, 34 cent almost a 10 uh, 10 cent down 
PA Resources is a leading uh, aluminium fabricator in Malaysia and doubling capacity of 7,000 to 10,000 MT through a new plant and upgrading of fabrication lines. So, yeah, this is the, the potential topic that are in P, for PA Resources. And the another one, I want to highlight the stock picks that uh, you can take a look in the equities market is uh, my EG. Why I will highlight my EG as one of the stock picks? Because uh, we know that the e-government services is continue to provide a stable earnings base for the group, uh, for, especially for the my EG company service, business in Malaysia, while earning growth will stem from their streaks. We know that uh, there's a very close relationship between my EG and districts. And now for the latest uh, QR, the progressive effort to introduce new service by using blockchain technology in Indonesia would further translate into a better year for the group. And the improvement in revenue to 2008, sorry, 242.3 million. Uh, there's a year, year YOY of increment 34.5% was mainly supported by the contribution from district blockchain platform where new services as a Zap cert or digital ID registration and transaction have been introduced as well as contribution for the sales of Zap Strix token. So we, you can see in the chart uh, since the beginning of year 2024, the share price of my AG is already up from nearly 75 cents to almost 1.1 uh, ringgit and 10. Uh, now, but th this is a very re recent retracement in the stock share price. So, in case you have a uh, very have an interest in Jastrix or or my EG business, you can take a look of it. So, I think here's uh, we're coming to the uh, summarize of our. KLCI index and our, stock, our potential stock pick for our Malaysia market. So in case you have any questions, uh, you may raise up in the comment section. So I will be answering uh, every each of them. Okay, I have a one. Uh, the first question is, what is T plus one? Start of the new day sessions. So let me get back to the slides. T plus one basically is the start of the new day sessions. Yes, yeah, you are correct. Because we there, there's a there, uh, very small difference to our equities market, the new trading day start from uh, morning. That if you always trading in our Malaysia shares market, uh, we know you know that T plus two. You don't you need to pick up the shares you buy or you trade. So in futures, T plus one sessions count from the night sessions. In case you have margin call, that I I, I say just now. In case you know your account balance is less than initial margin four thousand ringgit for one contract FQI, you have a margin call. So what's the time you are going to have a margin call? It's a night session. In case you have a lesser account balance, for example, 3,000 in evening sessions, which close on 5.50. And when open the night market sessions begin, you still have a, your account balance is still lesser than initial margin. So you means you have you having a margin call. So basically our staff or your, your dealer will inform you on this on tomorrow morning so you may take half day to decide whether you want to deposit or you want to close your positions out okay so another question what sector in KLCI will be benefited in further reserve card rates okay so when we talk about interest rate so now relates to the uh, to the 
foreign exchange currency. We know that currently our ringgit Malaysia is uh, appreciate or doing good against US dollar. So when US uh, Malaysia ringgit is going high, what benefited or what will who will be affected? First one uh, is the banks. When MOI going strong, for sure banks uh, will be benefited. So you can see recently banks performance are very strong uh, that have delivered a very good QR and leads the whole FKLI uh, index going up. And what who what company that will be affecting is those companies that having a export business because your Malaysia ringgit is going to be more expensive for those buyer from foreign country who want to buy your product to buy your service they need to purchase more they need to use more value of foreign dollar uh, foreign currency to exchange for every each of one ringgit in Malaysia so what exporting country will be uh, affected in case the currency increase uh, I would say it's a uh, our Malaysia technology company because our our mega big technology company in Malaysia all of them is almost having main uh, weightage for the foreign country visas so if further reserve cut rates means that there's a weakening for USD and now even uh, strengthening the current trend which is MOI will be appreciated against USD and bank sector been very very bullish do you still see high growth in bank sector so for bank stocks we do, usually investor don't expect a very high growth in bank because we know that banks are very safe and very conservative very steady and very uh, uh very what you say is less risk investment in case you invest in bank you invest amount of, and amount of money you wait for the capital gain you wait for the dividend so it's a very uh, best or good choice for those investors who want to invest for a very very long time horizon and wait for the dividend wait for capital gain in many many years so high growth in bank stock uh, i would not suggest there's a high growth in bank stock but a steady growth rate uh, when the time uh, pass okay next question is there any uh intraday margin to trade day trade uh fki yes we do provide intraday margin to trade to in case you want to day trade the fki we provide 50 percent margin for all of the bmd product so for example initial margin for fki is four thousand and we offer 50 percent in case you want to day trade uh in kici or fki or cpo for ki you only need to have a uh, 2000 and cpo current initial margin is 7000 so in terms 50 percent you need to only have 3.5 uh, thousand to intraday uh, this product but be aware that the 50 margin percent margin only applicable for intraday trades so means that uh, when T plus one sessions begin on 9 p.m. until the next day, the second session ends on uh, 5 15 uh, if in the evening. So you cannot hold your intraday your your position with the intraday margin uh, exit the 5 15 uh, in the evening. So in case you hold it, you have a margin call. Okay, next question. Is it consumer sector stocks benefited from Ringgit Malaysia appreciations? Uh, actually, for Ringgit Malaysia or currency appreciations, it's, not, uh, it's more about import and export. So in case you have uh, already some of the consumer sector stocks only already in the washes, you can further to analyze whether the company is doing an import business uh, for local consumer or they export their product or goods and services to foreign consumer just a, a very very basic theory is when the currency is going high it's not good for the export business
which sector is better choice from retail investor aiming for high growth if US cut rate for small cap? Uh, I believe that all of us already went the time that you further reserve cut the rates, uh, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic times. What sector will be having a high growth rate when the interest rate come down? Uh, I will suggest technology sector. You can look back at the chart uh, during uh, 2021. Yes, uh, a technology index doing very, very well when the interest rate in US is still very low because they export their good and business to foreign country. So when USD cut rates uh, will be going for, for those uh, technology companies. Can you explain the contract value again? Uh, yes. Uh, let me get back to my slides. Okay, contract value. Uh, for example, now our KLCI index is at 1,602. So for contract size multiple by 50 is uh, already fixed by Bursa Malaysia. So in case you want to buy one contract of KLCI, the theoretical value is 5,000, uh, 80,100. So you need this amount of money in case you want to buy one contract of uh, KCI at 1,602. But we talk about leveraging effect in futures trading. Now initial margin for to trade one contract FKI is only 40,000. So when the contract size is uh, multiple by 50 ringgit means that every point, every one point that move in FKLI represent the profit or loss of 50 ringgit. And the KLCI move 0 0.5 points per pit. So there's a two pits that equivalent to 50 ringgit profit and loss. Okay, if the portions remain negative and no deposit added, when will broker force liquidate? So yeah, as I said just now, uh, our broker will inform you in case is there any margin uh, margin call in the morning. So you can, uh, so uh, I just shows my slide. I think it's more uh, understandable. First one, you, you deposit the amount or you wait for the second one. You In case you want, don't want to deposit, you wait for the market to rebound to bring back your cash balance to more than initial margin. So. In case you don't want uh, deposit and market still go go against you, uh, broker you will have a time for you to decide and may close your portions uh, approximately 15 minutes or before market close. So, but you are not suggested uh, to take take your decisions uh, so last minute lah. So because it's more safety for you also. So hope my, my explanation answer, answering all of the questions. In case you have any questions, uh, you can raise out in the uh, question box. You mean on T1 must settle? Uh, yes, before T, uh, another day happened, uh, open. So in case you, we, when broker inform you on margin call in the morning, so for FKI, you need to settle your margin call before evening market close. You cannot drag to uh, to the night market open because night market is considered as new sessions already. It's a T plus one. So you basically need to settle before the night market sessions open and yes, before the evening market close. Can we have access to the slides and recording after the session? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, you may contact uh, the Gmail. I, I, I will show uh, in later slide. You you just uh, send Gmail to request, so I will send you recording the YouTube recording link and the slides for you. So yeah, I think that's all for 
all of the questions are for q and a sessions and my sharing is already uh, comes to the end so in case you interested to to start the trading in futures uh, fkli or other bmd product you are welcome to open an account with us uh, you can scan the qr code or take a screenshot of it so yeah you can are uh, able to access the both local and foreign uh, futures product in our futures account So this is our social media uh, page for Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and our website. So you can stay tuned for our social media page and we will update some posting regarding our promotion campaign, the market review, the market recap, or our upcoming webinar and seminar event in our social media. and yeah this is uh the email so for those attendees in case you want to have uh to get the slides or a recording link you can send your uh, inquiry to this email and here is the contact information for all our branches in case you stay uh, in a uh, different state but it's okay that uh, you can contact your nearest branch so regarding any investment advice or account online account opening service uh, there's a phone number for you to call in or you can just uh, send your inquiry to the uh, our email so for in case you want to have a slides or recording link you can send your uh, inquiry to our pcsb inquiry alliance philip capital .com .my. Let me share my screen. Okay, yes. Okay, here's for your information. Uh, in case you want to have a slide or or have the recording link. So I think we almost come to the end of our today webinar sharing sessions. So once again, let me thank you for your spending your a very precious time uh, in today webinar sharing so hopefully whatever my sharings uh, is very helpful for you uh, to understand more or trade more or do trading or investment in the market so see you in next webinar uh, or, or se web seminar or webinar events so in case you have any inquiries just uh, feel free to drop your inquiries to our email thank you so much for your time